question of over, under. You know the rules. It's either over or it's under. We're going to start with some Tom Brady. Nine oh, Super Bowls sense. for Brady so far. Just six interceptions. So, Brandon, over or under half an interception for Brady on Sunday. I'm going with my heart and not my mind here. I'm going under. The last couple games, Tom Brady has been throwing it up for grabs. I mean, we could easily say, you know, we could be sitting here talking about Tom Brady in the in the Super Bowl and he threw 10 picks in the playoffs. So I got to go under here because I got to believe Tom Brady really want ring number seven and he has to play a clean game. Yeah, Brandon, I am doing what I often do. I'm going my head over my heart because that is the way <laughs> to make money in this game. And we are going way over, boys and girls. You want to set the line at .5? Go over. You want to set the line at 1? Go over. You want to set the line at 1.5? Go over. You want to set the line at 2? All right, let's pause it right there. Here's the, here's the precise <laughs> prediction, Wilds. Tom Brady, much like his last playoff game against the Chiefs, throws three interceptions. One is nullified by a very questionable penalty. So in the final box score, he has two interceptions. That is my prediction. So we're going way over, Wilds. Yeah, we well, threw two against the Chiefs in Week 12. He had three against the Packers. He could have thrown another one if, if the Packers came down with it. Here's the thing. I think the Chiefs get out to such a fast start, Nick, that it's like desperate times, cause for des call for desperate measures. The yeah. old no risk it, no yeah, biscuit. That's right. going to be a lot of risking right. it, and I think uh, the Chiefs are going to come down with at least two. That's right. All right. Well... Let's talk some rookie runner Clyde Edwards Alaire. Been an up and down first season for the back out of LSU. He's going for a title repeat too. One college, one pro. Brandon, will Clyde oh, Edwards Alaire have over or under 30 and a half rushing yards? Under. He'll be a non factor come Sunday. Absolutely. Look, I had Coach Bowles as my defensive coordinator when I was playing for the Miami Dolphins back in 2011, 2012. Um, I also had him as my head coach for the Jets. Who did he learn from? How did he get to Miami? Bill Parcells. Bill Parcells was the president. There. He's the one that hired Todd Bowles. He's the one that, that taught him a few things here and there. And one of the things that Bill Parcells always said is you got to win and, and, and build your team inside out, starting in the trenches. And that is football. You got to be able to run the ball and you got to be able to stop the ball. And that's where he thrives. And that's why his defense is always at the top in the National Football League. So look, don't even try it. This, this run D is excellent, Nick, so I'm going with the under. Got to be able to run the ball. Got to be able to stop the run. That certainly was football when Bill Parcells was winning championships. It's not football anymore as Bill Parcells is running a horse racing operation, I believe, or a horse stable in upstate New York. Under is the answer. Never, I, I, he can have zero rushes. I'm fine with it. Throw, 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 throw. Zero and then rushes. when they think you're going to throw, okay, throw. You, and then when they think you're going to throw, throw again. It, the, here's the only time okay. Edwards Alaire needs to touch the ball, Wilds, aside from if it's thrown to him. Hand it to Edwards Alaire and then let him pitch it back to Mahomes for a flea flicker for more throwing. <laughs> throw, 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 throw. Okay. So under. It will if always it, be about the fundamentals, Nick. I know. That's what I'm saying, Brandon. If the game goes sideways, can we run that clip on Monday? We're like, wow, I could hear it at halftime. <laughs> that if the Chiefs are down, like, oh, they only have nine rushing yards. That doesn't work. Hey, is that a good way to run a football team? No, it's not. I think that he's going to go over. I think if the Chiefs are in the lead, you start giving the ball and he starts breaking a few runs. I know the Bucks have a great defense. But, Nick, the one thing I am worried about is this unbalanced attack that you're planning on. I Give the ball to Clyde Edwards-Alaire. Let him do his thing a little bit, Jenna. <clears throat> I don't know. Nick feels awfully confident about it. Uh, let's talk some Travis dangerous. Kelsey now. Coach Mangini predicted yesterday on our show that Kelsey would break the record for receptions in a Super Bowl. But, Brandon, will Kelsey have over or under 100 and a half yards on Sunday? <laughs> oh, this is easy. They're not going to be able to run the ball. So they're, they're going to throw the ball, and that's what they do great. They always win this way, right? Uh, they're, the, they're the exception to the rule because you have – you know, Andy Reid is so creative, and you have Patrick Mahomes, the baby, baby, baby goat, okay? We're not going to crown him yet, Nick. But this dude almost led the league in receiving yards as a tight end. That would have been the first time it ever happened. You had Stephon Diggs that went lights out the last five, six games of the year. So he took that spot. I got to go with the over because 
they're going to be able to get their have their opportunities. They're going to double them, but that's his guy. They're going to find ways. They're going to scheme it up. They're going to be creative. So the over, just look at his career. Just look at the last couple games. You can't bet against this kid. Yep. The over is the right answer. So a bonus prediction. After Travis Kelsey has 132 yards and two touchdowns in this Super Bowl, with respect to our colleagues, Tony Gonzalez and Shannon Sharp, and our future colleague, Rob Gronkowski, the discussion will be, Wilds, is Travis Kelsey the greatest tight end in the history of the league? After this Super Bowl, that discussion will start, mm. and you might say, where will it start? Right here on this show at about 7.48 a.m. Eastern time on Monday. I'm telling you right now. But first, Monday, is Travis Kelsey the GOAT tight end? Can I get my answer future, now? Future prediction. Yeah, yeah, please, please. What's the answer, Brandon? No, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Nope, I'm going to wait. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> wait. Okay, okay. Just wait. You can't make a prediction on something you're going to do. Like, oh, if Travis <laughs> Kelsey not? goes for under 100 <laughs> yards, I guarantee you someone here will be wearing a purple tie, and I'll just show up in a purple tie. It's not a prediction. That's just saying what you're going to do. I think he goes under. He had under in week 12. I do think he gets a few, a few of those goal line little garbage underhand plays, but I think under 100 yards. Garbage. I'm really What's impressed garbage? with the non-football stuff I, I, out of you. Wow. I should have said creative. Very I shouldn't have said garbage. I'm sorry. All right, let's talk about Tampa's tight end. Gronk with a chance to join a special group of players with four rings. So, Brandy, will Rob Gronkowski have over or under two and a half catches on Sunday? Under. Protection's at a premium right now. A lot of people remember Gronkowski back in New England as this guy running down the middle of the field, catching balls, getting his legs taken from up under him, going in the red zone, the back shoulder fade, the fade, uh, uh, the, the, the stop route, so many cool things down there. But what we fail to realize, and sometimes we overlook, is how awesome he is in the passing game, in the, in the pa in pass pro, and how New England used him. They start doing this the last couple weeks, leaving Br Gronk in to shore up those edges. So I think it's going to be, well, I know it's going to be the under, because you got to protect the GOAT. Brandon, we might be able to side bet this one. I'm very confident it's going to be the over because Tom Brady is going to be under such duress. The Bucs are going to be being beaten so soundly that Brady's going to go to his safety blanket. <laughs> Brady's going to go to someone that he relies on and trusts, Gronk. I think Gronk could have half a dozen catches in this game, so I'm going way over Wilds. Uh, mm. yep. I do too. The Chiefs allow tight ends to get open, and Gronk had a big game against the Chiefs in Week 12. So I think this is definitely the over, Brandon. I will also bet you on the side for House of Athlete membership. <laughs> <laughs> All right. With, uh, with